Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Likewise. Um, so, Fred, um, let's start with the background to give uh, the audience um, what's, uh, what's the story behind Scora, why you found it, what's inspired you? Yeah, it actually all started about uh, seven, eight years ago when um, I was working on my uh, music industry related uh, businesses and um, I, I was doing these like 16, 17 hour working days and really quickly um, was on the verge of a um, sort of mental breakdown, so to speak, or like burnout. And uh, through this pain, I discovered time management. I discovered uh, getting things done and realized that, you know, I, I really didn't know how to prioritize and, and very quickly realized that uh, most founders, most um, CEOs, most knowledge workers actually don't know how to do that. And this inspired me to uh, start working on this uh, task management application. Uh, that really quickly grew into a full-blown end-to-end um, solution for creatives, for um, consultancies. And as of today, we're almost getting close to a team of 100. We have customers in 60 countries and, uh, yeah, killing it. So that's the short, short story. So um, another SaaS company, right? So, well. For the last 15 years, there's so many SaaS companies on the market, yeah. and the new coming, each of those try to solve some specific uh, uh, task or, or problem. So why do you think there's a need uh, on the market for just another SaaS company? Yeah, definitely. Um, well, there are, um, if we look at the, the stats, there are about 10,000 different SaaS uh, companies out there. And we're, yes, we're one of them. Uh, but when we, when we look at how the market has evolved, uh, you, you see that there's literally a niche application for every problem out there. And um, there's, there's you know, something for calendaring, something for tasks, something for projects, something for quoting, just to name a few. There are literally dozens of different areas. And as a result of these really you know, um, nice looking and nice feeling apps um, uh, being implemented from uh, sort of bottoms up, as a result, there's a lot of fragmentation, a lot of silos, and there's no accountability, there's no oversight. Uh, and uh, as a result, managers are, have, um, we believe, lost control over the company. So we help to bring it back. So we think uh, right now we're with the market at a tipping point where it's just, just too much out there. There's too many niche applications out there, and we're the ones to bring it back together again. So by aggregating the data, integrating with third-party apps, and, and really providing our uh, customers with an end-to-end -end solution, um, enterprise-level reporting, and dashboards on top of that. And it all, all works out of the box, so uh, no um, specific sort of customization work is needed. So uh, I understand that you, you aim to be the single source of uh, truth for your customers. Do you see the timer somewhere? Uh, no. OK. <laughs> uh, so uh, um, yeah, yeah, definitely single source of truth, one, one uh, place where it all comes together. There's a lot of SaaS companies claiming to be the one source of truth or one place for everything. But um, we really um, believe that uh, we're the ones doing it. So it's not just about you know uh, one place for customers, one place for for, for projects. It's literally uh, sales, work, and finances all combined. Can, can you bring an example of of what kind of uh, I don't know savings or what what was the effect after implementing I don't know in save time, save money, some some kind of numbers? Yeah. So, so the easiest ROI we see, um, and that, that is really measurable, and we've proven this with uh, a lot of uh, case studies that we've uh, run with our customers, is just the time save. Um, basically, um, um, there's, there's less meetings, there's less out of conversations, uh, and it's about, um, on average, five hours per employee uh, in, a, in a service organization that we can uh, save. 
And this means that with a 50-person organization, this is about 1,000 hours each month saved. So when you multiply this by, let's say, with 100 euros an hour, you get about 1.2 million of uh, potential extra revenue. And this is just a 50-person organization, whereas we also work with organizations that have hundreds of em employees and some that are, have thousands. So we're, we're, we're slowly uh, but steadily moving up market, working with uh, bigger and bigger companies, um, one of the biggest companies we work with uh, currently has about 4,000 people across the world, and we're gradually um, rolling it out across different markets. So there's a huge savings. And of course, uh, not to mention the peace of mind for the managers, uh, less stress, you know, all of these um, um, s syndromes and you know, symptoms that we, we run into when we just have too much on our plate. So where do you see the, the SaaS or enterprise software market going? Um, is it towards the consolidation or um, what, what, can, where, where you, what, what are the trends and where do you see Scoro fitting into that picture of the future in the uh, four or five years? Yeah, I, I definitely believe there's going to be much more consolidation. Um, uh, UI, um, Great UX has become sort of hygiene factor already, uh, so all apps have to be uh, good looking and, and, uh, and easy on the eyes. Um, a lot of consolidation, I think there's a lot of um, hype involved with machine learning, but also uh, a lot of opportunities there. So I, I believe the fact that uh, being able to aggregate so much data together for us gives this unique position where we can leverage this data and use machine learning, uh, use uh, different kinds of technologies to really um, gain insight out of this data. Because a lot of uh, the current solutions um, try to do that, but they just don't have the data. They, they can you bring an example? What kind of suggestions you would expect from Score in a couple of years? Yeah, so so we're we're actually aiming to become the ultimate prioritization engine. Uh, so across channels, uh, whether it's you know email or your CRM or your um, or your instant messaging channels, um, there's a lot of information obviously, and um, a lot of time is uh, is being spent on working uh, on things that are not you know, high priority. And especially the bigger the team gets, the harder it is to align these priorities. So, so across team, across channels, ultimate prioritization engine, this is, this is our vision for the future. Um, and, and currently, we, we might be called as the operational system of record, uh, for that matter. So when CRM puts customers first, ERP um, accounting systems put finance first, we put the, the operations and the time first, and we, we really want to make time as transparent as finances are today. So this is our ultimate goal. So thinking about time, uh, I understand that uh, our time's up. So it was a great pleasure. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.